Do a little chain sharpening. I'm going to show y'all how we do this. This is a, uh, the chain in my hand is a 404. And then the chain right here is a uh, 750 or a three quarter. You can see the difference between the, between the cutters. It's a, it's a lot of size difference between those two chains right there. And we sharpen both chains with the same grinder. The, uh, we just have to change the rock out and then the support right there. That's what we have to change out. So that's what I'm fixing to do now. The rock just comes off right here. At this little island right here. I've already done broke it loose. I thought about filming this after I done broke it loose. So let me see if I can set this camera here where y'all can see. And see what I'm doing. Yeah, there you go. Just change this rock out. Put a uh, different rod. This rock right here is about gone. We use them all the way up. I think Kevin's probably got a new rock somewhere. This ain't, well, it's not way out yet. Here comes Dad. Okay, on my truck, you said? Yeah. All right. Okay. And here's some other stuff. All right. What about, uh, you heard anything else about the t-shirts? No, she's still working on it. She's still working on it. Okay. Yeah. Good. She should, um, have an egg. Hey, Hey, that camera's sitting everywhere, man. I know. It is what it is, man. God. Let's set this down. Put this down. It'd be nice if we had two grinders where you didn't have to do this, but this ain't too bad, dude. Swap this out real quick. about ready for action now. I gotta get the cord over there and plug it up. So the 750 takes a bigger rod and a bigger set of rails there to uh, run it. sits in there just like that. And then there you go. This is a Carlton chain. We sharpen the Carlton. Carlton's a little bit different than the uh, organs. Right on getting up, man. 
ain't worth trying to run them all the way down because they usually end up uh, breaking in the hand before, uh, before they're wore out. I have sharpened thousands of these things over the years. When we had that bell tree cutter, that's what uh, this same chain right here is what it run, man. I go through, some days I go through two or three of these chains if we were cutting in hardwood. We would eat them up. Every afternoon when I got home, this is what I would do, sharpen chains. But uh, later on, then, we got a service truck that had a uh, welder on it. Then I did all of my chain sharpening in the wood. I had, a, I had a grinder just like this man on a piece of angle iron, and I'd clamp that piece of angle iron in the vise, fire, fire the welder up. Sharp them right there in the woods. That way, I didn't have to do it when I got home. Or if I, had, if I run into a problem and I needed a sharp chain, I could, you know. I'm sure there's somebody out there screaming, I'm not doing this right, I'm not doing this right. I don't care. I blew it a little bit. A little, burn it just a little bit. That's fine. You don't hurt a thing. I'm just looking to get Yep. So that's how it works. I see that rock right there is about gone. Here's the dressing stone to dress that rock with right there. That's our pit there where we change the oil and all our trucks. Right here, we got uh, rear end oil and stuff like that over there. And then there's a pocket goes back up in here where all the grease gun and all that stuff stays. 
and there's the oil tank. And I think that one holds 280 gallons is what it holds. We get a bolt, they bring it in here, pump it in it for us. This is how we get all of our hydraulic fluid. A lot of people ask about the hydraulic fluid, so it's clear. That's why, that's what we run right there in all the higher end machines. Now the deer, the deer, uh, like the, skid, the old skidders and old wheel bunchers, stuff like that, they get that 1000, that tractor hydraulic fluid right there. It's the red stuff right there. That's what it is, but we buy it by the drum there. And then all this is meter, it's got a meter on it there where you can just set it to whatever you, whatever you want. Uh, pumping in, there's all the jugs that we recycle right there, stuff like that. But this pit's pretty nice. The only thing, they should have put this pit uh, over here on this side, because there's a high traffic area. They should have put this pit over there. It's what they should have done instead of on this side. But this is where they put it. That good well oil drain right there, where the drain is. And then this side over here, you can actually wash on this side. That's what it's set up for. It's got that drain in the floor there and drain over there. So you pull the tractor trailer in here and wash it in here if you wanted to. We don't, but that's what it's, uh, that's what it's set up for. Is that right there? Is there a pile of hoses over in? <laughs> we'll get all the wire out of them for scrap. <laughs>